Hi everyone, welcome to Join Coder. In today's video, I will show you how to install SQL Server 2022 and SQL Server Management Studio step by step. First, open your browser and search for Microsoft SQL Server. From there, download the developer edition and wait for the download to complete. Once it's done, Open the downloaded file. For the installation type, select Custom. In the SQL Server Media Download location, you can keep the default path or choose a location from the browser. Make sure you have enough free space, then click Install. After the installation file finished downloading, click on it from the taskbar. Then, go to Installation and select New SQL Server Standalone Installation. The setup process will now begin. Choose Developer and click Next. Accept the license terms and click Next. Click Next again. In the next step, uncheck Azure extension, then click Next. Select All and click Next. In this step, you can choose default instance if you haven't installed any other SQL Server versions. For me, I have another SQL Server version installed, so if I keep default instance, I will get an error like this. Therefore, I will give a name instance. Click Next again. In Service Accounts, we don't need to change anything. In Collation tab, for Database Engine and Analysis Service we will keep the default settings, then click Next. In the Server Configuration step, select Mix Mode and set a password. Then. Click on Add Current User. You will see the name. Please note the password and name. It will be required after the setup is complete when you log in. Other tabs do not need any changes. The default location will be selected for installation. Then, click Next. In Tabular Mode, you can click Add Current User and keep the same user as the previous step. Click Next again. Click Install. Now the installation has started. Please wait as it will take a few minutes. SQL Server installation is complete. Click Close. Now we need to download SQL Server Management Studio. Click on Install SQL Server Management Tools, and you will see the Download SSMS option. If you need a previous version, you can find it on the same page.
Once the download is complete, open the file and click Install. When the installation is finished, you'll need to restart your computer. Before restarting, make sure to save and close any open files, then click Restart. When your computer start again, type SSMS in the Windows Start menu, then open SQL Server Management Studio. In the Server Name field, select the server name you configured earlier. Check Trust Server Certificate, then click Connect. That's it. We've successfully installed and connected to SQL Server Management Studio. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.